Hey guys, and welcome to another RuneScape guide video. In today's video, we will be talking about some low to medium level magic armor for your Iron Man accounts. In this video, I will mention the higher tier armor towards the end of the video, but since we're talking about Iron Man accounts here, we'll keep it to the basics. Some quick notes before we start. A level 1 defense for every combat style, you should be using the Pathfinder armor which is unlocked by talking to Gudrick in Taverly at the start of your account. This will start the path system, which is a way to show new players of the game in a heavily guided manner. So a guide slash walkthrough isn't required for this, so go ahead and do it. Very easy. Once you completed the path system, you will get a bunch of rewards including XP lamps, weapons, and the Pathfinder armor. For magic, use this armor until level 10. To start off with magic armor, let me give you a list of all the pieces that I will mention in this guide. You can skip to an armor of your choice by clicking the time box that's next to the armor piece. And in each armor piece, I will go through the requirements for the armor, how easy it is to get, and where to find it. Our first piece of armor are the impied robes. These robes require a magic and defense level of 10 to wear. You can make these roads out of imp hides. The best place to kill imps are around the monastery south of the Arty Zoo, or al alternatively in the Karamja Volcano Resource Dungeon next to the Lesser Demons. You need a total of eight imp hides to make a full set of armor. And overall, this armor should take you around five minutes to get, and it's a nice step up from your previous Pathfinder armor. The next piece of armor are the spider silk robes. These robes require a magic and defense level of 20 to wear, as well as 24 crafting to make them. You can make these robes out of spider silk, dropped by spiders in the Lumberage Catacombs, and you need a total of 8 spider silk to create this armor. This armor is great for beginner RuneScape players and as well as Iron Man accounts. It is really easy to obtain, as it should take you less than 5 minutes. The next set of armor will be Mystic Robes. You can obtain this tier 30 armor by killing Slayer creatures in the Slayer Tower. I will not go in much detail for this armor because I recommend that you stick with Spider Silk until the upcoming armor piece. Our next armor piece is Split Bark Armor. This armor has a requirement of 45 wood cutting, 40 magic, and defense. You need a total of 11 bark, 11 fine cloth, and 77k to purchase this armor from Wizard Jellerast in the Wizard's Tower. You can chop bark off of hollow trees near the Canifus Lodestone. You can alternatively stay with split bark slash your mystic robes until level 50 instead of using split bark. Our last two pieces of armor are Skeletal and Batwing. Both require level 50 defense and magic and both have their strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with Skeletal Armor. Skeletal armor is the most difficult to obtain out of all the others, but some may see it as worthwhile. It requires the completion of the Fermi Trials quest, which is an ideal quest for all accounts as it gives you many large XP rewards. I would recommend for you to have the best armor on you before you go to obtain this armor, unless you're a really high level, then I don't know why you're going to this armor. Also, carry either salmon or lobsters as some monsters will hit you quite hard, so be careful. Your first step is to travel to the Relic Lodestone, and then travel west to the Fremenic Docks, and then travel to Waterbirth and follow my character. Lots of these monsters are aggressive, so be mindful of your HP. Go through any of the Dagonoth King doors and climb down the ladder, not up, down. In the very first room, you will see these monsters called Wallowaskis. I don't know how to pronounce them, so good luck on pronouncing them. Kill these three until you get your skeletal gloves, boots, a fibula piece, a skull piece, and a rib cage. This shouldn't take you more than two trips if you are somewhat lucky, as the drops are uncommon and not rare. Also, if you have time on the same trip, kill some Dagonoths for six Dagonoth hides, as you will need them later. Finally, go south of the Waterbirth Dock and claim your new armor by talking to Peer the Seer, which requires Fremenic Trials to talk to him and get you this armor. That's why you need it. Note that he will charge you 23k GP to make these pieces for you. And now you have your Tier 50 Power Armor. 
Now for Batwing. This armor is much easier to obtain other than the requirements based on how you see them. You still need 50 magic and defense, but now you will need at least 56 crafting. To craft Batwing robes, just go to the many locations around RuneScape where there are a bat. I like the bats in the Lumbridge Catacombs. Kill them until you have 9 Batwing and craft them into your Batwing armor. And now you have your new tier 50 tank armor. Looks like we're done with all the low to medium armor. Like I said in the beginning, I will talk about the higher tier armor like Subjugation, Ganondorf, and other high level gear. As for your Iron Man account, I don't see many people in the first few months of Iron Man's release with armor higher than Batwing. However, there are some of you who really want to go for that high level armor. So if you're still looking for better mage armor, I would recommend to go to God Wars Dungeon and get some level 75 War Priest armor by killing you know, the Zami minions in or outside of the Zami area. And this goes for all the War Priests, it works the same way. Or you can kill some Zami at God Wars Dungeon and try to obtain the subjugation pieces, either obtain all of them or do some combination between War Priest. Each isn't bad, so go ahead and do that, and that's some nice step-up armor from uh, your level 50 Batwing and Skeletal Armor. Looks like that will be it for our Magic Armor Guide. I will upload a melee and a range, possibly both in the same video. I didn't think I would fit them in this video, though, which is why I only did Magic. I was planning on doing all three combat styles, but I didn't feel like I could fit them all in one video, and it would be a huge mess. So you will see those down later down the road. So thank you all for watching my low to medium magic armor guide. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate it so much if you click that like button, as this video took me a while to make uh, with all the slides and stuff. So make sure to subscribe as well for more RuneScape content, and comment down below on your thoughts of this video, and maybe some other videos that you had in mind for me to create. So anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.